Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy, and we have here Ryuka. Ryuka. Actually, I really like the way that her base is actually being displayed or showcased. It has a lot of details. Um, really ha like to have the actual figure myself if you know if she is available, and definitely that is going to be yellow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but anyway, um, we're gonna have a gear and build guide for you guys If you have Ryuka on your roster and if you want to build her maybe now or in the future Well, then this is the video for you. So we'll start off with her skills Okay, weapon synchronization. This is her initial. This is her basic attack range is six slots so attacks an enemy starts from the first enemy in the same line attack speed is slow obviously because she is more of a helper so that is why not focused very much on her uh what do you call this her um attack speed so upgrade effect with each basic attack grants a shield to an ally with the lowest health health percentage which lasts for 10 seconds boosts the damage from basic attack by 25 percent for level three and this one, this stat, it belongs to her adornment. Experimental subject cultivation apparatus enhances Ryuka's basic attack. When the support effect is active, each of Ryuka's basic attack has a 30% chance to attack two enemies and apply two shields at the same time. So adornment per se, she is going to be needing it. She actually is available in the store. So you can actually purchase it anytime and it would be very valuable to her. So moving on to her ultimate. So code reassembly initial energy is 50, deals area damage and disarms the enemies for three seconds. Disarm is cannot do anything. So going back, if any allies have been defeated, revives one random ally or allies. This effect can only be, only be triggered once, one time every 30 seconds. So there's a 30 second gap between reviving somebody else. So again, she's a very important. Uh, if if you have a team wherein it's built around her, it's it's really important that she survives attacks or attacks um, to the back because most of the time she'll be at the back. So upgrade effect, rev grants revived allies a shield that lasts for 10 seconds. And level three also grant gain shield and support effects when reviving an ally. So revive on revive only takes effect on figurines and revive figurines will have a 30%, 32% of their max health. Doesn't really um revive, doesn't really play on your summons or your minions. Um going back and their health in the initial energy effects that occurred at the start of the battle and effects that can only occur one time per battle will not trigger again okay so take note of that for revive uh, next is her passive gene transfer support passive increases energy recovery by two and attack speed by 30 for herself and all nearby allies before the battle starts effect lasts for 15 seconds and is adjusted based on her assist bonus this is actually uh, not assist bonus. This is support bonus. So revived teammates can only enjoy the same effect one more time. Boost adjacent allies defense by 16. Supports all allies extends the duration of support effects to 20 seconds. And the last is her special skills. Uh, super test subject heals a random ally every 30 seconds. Upgrade effect boosts attack by 5 and defense by 10 boosts the healing effect by 50%. So that is it for her skill. Then if you take a look at her strengths and weakness, definitely she'll have more help on the health department. Not so much with attack. Again, she is not there to deal damage that much, but more of a support and a healer and give her shields for revive. So health definitely needs to be addressed um defense is already addressed because we're gonna talk more on her parts in a while okay so again as i've said moving to her parts 
Okay, so because she needs support bonus, you need to equip her with a support set. Definitely a must. So that she may often proc this one, the support passive. This will definitely be very useful to her and to be able to help your her allies more if she does have a very high support bonus so again going back should be a support set and for her survivability either go with defense or hp but i went with defensive set instead okay moving to the badge so for her badge i think this is the only one and actually i, I this is the first time that i that this badge made sense because of the revive mechanics so restores 10 energy and boost damage by 20 percent over 10 seconds when an ally figure is defeated so again it's okay if they de are defeated she is going to revive them and she is going to stack this up to three times that is why this badge is going to be perfect for her i've had this badge for a while and now that she's here it's very ideal for her um for other options um at this point I don't have any options for, for even for for purple badges. Definitely you need to use this badge for her. This is very specialized really for her kit. Okay, and the last one is her adornment. This one I got from the store. Enhances Ryuka's basic attack. So this was added to her attack. When the support effect is active, each of Ryuka's basic attack has a 30% chance to attack two enemies and apply two shields at the same time. So this is good because again the shield becomes times two which is actually a good help to your team okay as for team composition is concerned ryuka will be a big help actually for your front line so if you have front line there that are squishy like for example if you need to revive kuroko it would really be a headache really Kuroko is one uh, if she if she dies after her you know for all the heals and and the life steal, she is actually perfect because it would be again a headache bring her back and she regenerates herself and all that. Rimuro as well uh, if he has regenerate again and if she if he dies and he revives, then again the nightmare <laughs> continues. Others I think that will be good will be Erixia. Erixia will be will benefit well from her because usually for shield shared health, uh, Erixia is the one you know is the first to die. So it's also a big help for her. Who else is going to benefit much? Uh, Rin is also gonna benefit much. Also Xantha Kane. So Xantha Kane and Rin. Xantha Kane is very squishy, so she's going to benefit that much. Uh, by the way, going to go back. So for those who are starting out, Zarola is actually going to benefit much as well. So there's a lot of um, squishy figures that are in our teams that will benefit from Ryuka. So make use of them and make sure that uh, if you have Ryuka, even if you have her at the lowest levels, um if you're a beginner i think she's worth bringing at this point it's really hard to get copies of her because she's night nine but definitely a worthwhile figure to have okay moving on to final thoughts okay so what do i think of ryuka art wise design wise i think one of the best design figures we have so far i enjoy how she looks and how this base looks. Um, this, the, the downside is she is uh, Night 9. And uh, it's really hard to get copies of her. You'll have to grind it out. Um, you'll even have to buy some from most store. If you, you, know, if you need copies of her to build her up. Uh, I think 3 star pink would be good to use her. In the middle and advanced stages. But right now, I only have one copy of her, and I think that's so far out at this point. So need more investment on her. That's the downside of her. But again, if you have her, she is going to be very, very good. Um, she is a similar support to Zuki Liang, by the way. Zuki Liang 
if you guys are not familiar with him i'll just flash him here so that you could for this guy zuki liang is prevent prevents uh, death one time or lethal damage one time so they have a similar kit but this but for her she has continuous revives if you could if you have the means to spam her revive then she would be better than zuki liang but both of both are in that category as well of support but i think she, she she's better i think because of the heals because of the shield and because of the revive so combine all of them and the revive is not really limited but it has a cooldown so that is it guys so if you have the means to get her please do if you are a beginner and uh, if you need early support and if you ha don't have the means of getting zuki liang then ryuka is your girl so that is it guys so hopefully this guide helped you and thank you very much take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here